Hi, I'm Leslie Maddox, an engineer turned homeschool mom to three little boys, uh, ages nine, seven, and four years old. And I like to get into the nitty gritty of homeschooling. Today I'll be getting into the nitty gritty of work boxes. In this video, I'll share with you the work box system I have set up for my four year old, my preschooler. So be on the lookout for other videos where I share with you my work box system for my fourth grader and also my first grader. As you can see here in my homeschool room, um, I use these uh, drawer systems for work boxes for both my first grader and my preschooler. There's 10 drawers in this drawer system. Uh, these are a little bit different than what you might see in hobby shops because they have extra wide drawers, which I like it. They just uh, are uh, more flexible in what I can put in them. I have each drawer labeled with numbers 1 through 10 along with the word for the number. In years past, I simply had the number on there and that helped me with teaching him number recognition. Um, you know, I'd say, hey, let's go get what's in drawer number 5, for example, and he could, he'd go grab that. It was good practice. Well, he knows all his numbers now, so this year I decided to make labels with the actual word for the number on it. If he picks up a few of these words as sight words, great. If not, that's okay too, but I thought it couldn't hurt to try. Each drawer also has an indicator. and They switch from green to red. I'll put a link below showing where I got these as well. I don't know that they're available anymore. I don't think they are. I had trouble finding a replacement for them. I love these indicators. I put them on green uh, if there's work in that drawer for my son to do. And then when he's done with that work, he puts it on red. So when he comes in tomorrow morning to do his work, right away he'll see all the drawers with work for him to do and it gives him a good gauge of what needs to be done. And they love that. I, all of my kids have loved that. They want to know what work is needs to be done. and. Um, I don't want to keep them guessing there's no need for that so and this also helps me to know what they've done he can actually my preschooler can actually even go in here and for many of these drawers he can do these activities without me so he can get started without me he doesn't have to wait for me to um, tell him what needs to be done uh, it's all in there on top of each card i also have this white crate i think i got this at target um, I have his name on here, again, just for him to recognize his own name, and also I thought it was cute. In the crate, I have items, uh, many of the items that I'll put in these drawers. So you see here I have a file folder with um, some number activities, phonics, handwriting without tear supplies, uh, some more creative activities. This is some doodle dot stuff and, and painting and cutting. And also um, other supplies like some file folder games and letter cards, which I might use. Back here, I have a clipboard. I color code my kids, so my youngest, uh, his color is red, even though his favorite color is blue. Believe me, I've heard that a lot. Um, but his color is red, so he has a red clipboard. And at the beginning of the week, I print out from Homeschool Planet, so what I use for my lesson planning. I, I print out um, what I have planned for the, him for the week, so that each day when I need to fill his drawer, I can just pull this up and look at it. There's more supplies back here, you can see here. Our hooked on phonics books, um, some more handwriting without tears, activities, a little basket if I need to put manipulatives. Um, this is a cute little doohickey for uh, some letter practice. We'll be using that for letter practice and flashcards. So this would be stuff that I might regularly use. I have other supplies that I use with my preschooler that are kind of all around the schoolroom, um, close at hand. Uh, but for the most part, this is what I, this is what um, the supplies in the white crate are what I use on the regular with Take a closer look at what's in each drawer. For drawer number one, I have a little number activity. I got this from Confessions of a Homeschooler. See her copyright down here. Um, I have several of these printables. I think you can just get them free from her website. Uh, he's just this year learning how to hold his pencil correctly and how to write. So instead of having him fill in the numbers here, I have these little stamps. 
uh, for him to use and it still helps him with his fine motor skills and he really likes stamping. When he's done filling in these numbers, um, often I'll have him just turn over the page and do some more stamping and keep him busy. Um, and so he seems to like that a lot. Drawer number two has a phonics activity. Uh, again, this is from Erica at Confessions of a Homeschooler. I give him a do a dot marker to use with this and I read through the little story with him and, and then he looks for all the uppercase F's and lowercase F's. So this is what we have for tomorrow for a phonics activity. Drawer number three typically holds his um, Handwriting Without Tears workbook. So we will work on a page out of there uh, tomorrow. He's still uh, practicing his pencil grip, and so we haven't gotten into using the other supplies from Hand Around Without Tears. He's just practicing coloring and holding the, his pencil and maybe drawing some lines. In drawer number four, I typically put something from the creator folder in his crate. Tomorrow, it's going to be this little coloring activity. He has in one of his one of his desk drawers a paintbrush that he uses, and I also have a non-spill uh, water cup that I'll fill up for him when he gets to this. Um, he doesn't actually love painting. I would thought this is something that he'd love to do. He doesn't actually love it, uh, and so I've learned that if I get a paintbrush as well and paint with him, then he likes it, and I do want to do that with him just for fun and also because I need him to practice his pencil grip and his fine motor skills this is a good way to do that. Drawer number five. Hooked on phonics. My little one, my little preschooler has just started to read. He was very ready to do it. Uh, he's all the indicators were there that he was ready and so just this week we started on this and he loves it. So each day when we get to this drawer this is something that we do not in the schoolroom, but on, on the couch. So he'll just take it to the couch and I'll sit over there with him and cuddle with him and read with him. Drawer number six. Today I have just some little puzzles. And in these other drawers, if I put anything in them at all, it's something like this. That's just to keep him busy. You know, there may be some educational benefit to it, but it's really just to kind of keep him busy. This time I also put something in drawer number seven. Uh, these are some Disney magnets. He used to really be into Disney, into Mickey Mouse. And I have a whiteboard, big whiteboard here in the schoolroom, and then across the hall, a smaller whiteboard in their playroom. So if he chooses to do this, and that'll make him, but if he chooses to, I'll just send him over, I'll probably send him over to the schoolroom or to the playroom and um, let him play in there. So you can see I don't have anything in the bottom three drawers. Last year when he was doing more preschool work, now he's doing more kindergarten and pre-k work. But last year I would fill up at the beginning of the school year, or at the beginning of the week, sorry. I'll fill up the drawers at the beginning of the week and um, I typically required him to do work from a just at least one drawer a day because I'm, because I'm trying to get him used to being productive, doing something productive every day, and doing something, some learning activity every day. Um, and then as the week progressed, if I had more activities on whatever letter or whatever we're working on, then I would add them to the drawers. If not, once he was done with the 10 drawers for the week, then I didn't require him to do more that week. This year, um, since he's doing more K-4 kindergarten type work, I usually just have a few of these drawers filled and um, a lot of the other activities I've had are a little bit babyish for him, but might keep him busy. I might put them in there, I might not. Um, I do require him to do uh, at least the first three drawers uh, each day and he has work four days a week, usually Monday through Thursday. And then Friday he has off. Um, I mean, he's always welcome in the schoolroom. And he does usually come in here when the when his older brothers are in here and there's and he requests activities in here i mean just just because something's not his drawer doesn't mean he doesn't have he can't do it he'll ask me um, i have over here uh, a bunch of activities and manipulatives and so he'll request those specifically he say hey mommy can i have 
uh, the letter robots or um, the fuzzy magnets and so I'll go ahead and give them to him and um, as long as he plays quietly while his brothers are concentrating so that nobody has to yell to be heard and nobody's distracted. So that's my uh, workbox system for my preschooler. I hope that you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe uh, if you did find this helpful and also I would love to hear any comments from you, any questions you might have or any input that you might have. Uh, let me know how you organize your preschoolers work. Um, I would love to hear about that. Be on the lookout for videos for where I share with you my workbox system for my first grader and then also for my fourth grader.